Hello Youtubers and welcome back to my channel. Today video will be about how to solder with soldering iron and I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks. Subscribe to my channel and watch hundreds of DIY videos. This is my homemade soldering station with soldering iron. This one is 48 watts I think that works on 24 volts. More about how I made this I will put link in description below. And first thing that you need to know all the time you need to have a clean soldering tip. How you can clean your soldering tip? You need to have this. Uh, this costs around three dollars, and it's a simple metal can with this metal wire sponge or steel wool. If you don't have this one. You can make your own metal wire sponge or metal wire wool for cleaning your soldering iron out from old metal can and this metal wool. Just place it like this, take your soldering iron and twist a couple of times. And you will get perfectly clean soldering tip. Your soldering iron never should look like this. This is not proper way for soldering, so you need to clean it. Look. Now it's super clean. The second trick beside the cleaning sponge, metal wire sponge, you need to have a very good and very quality tin. I'm using this kind of tin, which is made out of 60% tin and 40% PB or lead and this tin is 100% tin. You can choose whatever you want. I will try to solder on this copper plate plated board. Right now this is dirty and with fingerprints with some marks from the pencil. Let's try it. By the way, this helping hand or third hand will help you a lot while soldering. Look this. Look, I'm gonna place some tin and try to solder but I can't why is that? because this copper plate it's not clean enough how to clean the copper plate? some of you use a paper sand but that will damage the copper plate and that is not very good but in many cases if you don't have this this is a technical line spray for cleaning and it's made out of alcohol I'm gonna spray it a little bit okay in it and now I'm gonna try again you get it you need to clean your copper plated boards 
with alcohol spray or in or with paper set. Let's try it again. Hold it on the, on copper side a little bit and place it in. More. And look. Now you can solder. Let's say that we want to solder on this universal copper breadboard. And don't forget, always clean your soldering tip. How to solder? First, put some tin on your soldering iron. Okay? Next is to touch your desired spot and in angle of 45 degrees place a little bit thin. That's it. One more time. Right now it's not clean. Put some tin on your soldering iron, place it on your spot and put some tin. Awesome. You don't want to to put the tin from the top, just from the side, for around 45 degrees, touch it, give us some tin, leave it. That's it. The next trick for perfect soldering is to have a soldering flux or paste, and you need to put on your spot like this and look what will happen awesome one more time clean your tip touch it on your place and in from the side place thin That's it. Next, that I want to show you how to desolder a component. Okay. First thing is to do to place a little bit thin on your component. Okay. Then. Touch it, leave it for one second and pull out. Here you go. Next trick is how to solder wires. Okay. I'm gonna cut it on at half. And if you don't have a wire stripper and you need a lighter, okay. And pull out. Heat up. Pull out. Twist the copper wire. How to solder the wires? This is the way. As you can see, my soldering tip is dirty. Clean it up again. All the time for perfect soldering. You need to do that. Place some tin on the solder, soldering iron. Touch it with your copper wire and add more tin. Perfect. Or if you want even more easier way is to place a flux or soldering paste. Place on the soldering iron tin, touch it the copper wire, and look perfect. Put some tin on the soldering iron, little more, and 
there you go. The next trick that I will show you is when you don't have a soldering iron but you need to solder the wires. How? Heat up the wire, pull out the isolation, twist it, place some paste, okay, heat up with your lighter the wire and look it's hard but you can do it okay now I'm gonna solder the two wires together just wait okay voila it's soldered with the lighter okay next thing is to have a soldering iron stand this one is made from stainless steel spring and it's perfect for that job if you don't have a, a stand and leave it your soldering iron like this your table will be on fire okay how to solder wires on battery? It's not good at all, but if you need it, this is the way. Paste flux, place it a little bit. Clean your iron. If you have iron like mine, you can increase the temperature. because you need to be a pass doing this or the battery will be damaged place it a little bit thin touch it and place thin okay I'm gonna show you one more time and without using a flux just need to heat up very well the battery Voila. Let's solder the wire. My tip is not my tip is not clean. Clean it. Place a little bit thin. Here you go. Let's say that you want to solder on metal piece. It's not copper, metal piece. This is the piece. With sandpaper you need to clean the spot. Add some cleaning spray, adding some flux, okay, increase the temperature of your soldering iron. Touch it and put something. Perfection. The most important thing while working with soldering, you need to have some kind of, of fume or smoke extractor, just like this one. This is a, a DIY. It's made from big PC fan that works on 12 volts. Here I have the filter. 
Okay. 